Good day, everyone. Meteorologist Mark Molnar here. Thanks for joining me for this edition of Media Marks Weather. Great to have you here with me. we got a big-time high-pressure system that's going to be anchored across North America, at least through about the end of this week. We do start to see a storm moving through the Four Corners region here. It's going to exit into the Southern Plains, and that's going to set us up for our next potential storm. Will this be rain, snow? What areas could see potentially a white Christmas Eve into Christmas Day? And will we see any sort of secondary low? development out here we'll take a look at the possibilities we have a low out here in the middle of the atlantic we'll explore that front making it down into the tropics and we'll explore your new year's outlook all your weather let's get into it so if we start off here with the European model, you can see for North America here, it's it's actually really quiet. There's high pressure all the way down here to Central America and Mexico. The only system we have really going on here in town is right off the coast of Southern California here. Now, so we continue to go in time here. Look at this. This, this takes us through... You know, through mostly the end of the week, we do have a weak system moving up through the central states here. Look at Canada. There is not much happening. Maybe over here in southwestern Canada, some mountain snow valley rain. We got this system moving into the southwest. And here is this light system with some light, mostly rain showers streaming north here. That kind of just fizzles out around this high pressure system. Our next storm that we're going to be watching, though, this is 23rd into the 24th. We could have some strong to severe thunderstorms breaking out here across parts of Texas. That's not what you want to hear. There's that low pressure system. So, you know, there's going to be snow on the northwest side of this low pressure system. And watch this as we continue to go in time. That low wraps up across eastern Kansas Christmas Eve. And then right into Christmas Day here, you can see, well, you can pretty much guess that there's probably going to be some kind of frozen precipitation. And I will confirm that here on the GFS precipitation depiction momentarily here. There's that blocking high to the east here. You can see as this system continues to move to the east, it does start to push some moisture up through Florida here. And look at that through parts of the Ohio Valley into the northeast the day after Christmas likely getting into the wet weather here look at a surge of moisture is this going to be a repeat of what's happened the last couple weeks here we hope not we had some extensive flooding and some wind damage here across the northeast and mid-atlantic much of the east coast as well hopefully we get a break here but i can't guarantee it it looks like there it looks like this will be tapping into some sub subtropical tropical moisture down here into the eastern gulf that is not good news that's not what you want to hear in the east and look at that that energy holds back here in the ohio valley and another surge of tropical moisture into the 27th and potentially the 28th with a new secondary low forming that doesn't look really ideal for any like major cold air although there is high pressure up here anchored over southeastern Canada so we'll have to take a look at this but then maybe some wraparound moisture changing the rain showers over to snow showers here on the 29th and I want to draw your attention over here look at this massive low just waiting off the west coast here this is something we're gonna have to keep a very close eye on there's our last frame let's take a look at the GFS all right so showing you the GFS here there's that high pressure moving across the east low pinwheeling uh, southwest of California here. There's that next system. You can see this pushing up here. This is that light system I was telling you about here into the 22nd and the 23rd as we get towards the beginning of the weekend. You know, some rain showers, maybe some mixed precipitation on the northern side of this. And now as we continue, let me just zoom out here so you can get a whole good view of North America. There you could have some showers moving into parts of the Ohio Valley, some snow showers in here into southeast Canada, Ontario, Quebec, and northern New England here. But this is not anything to write home about. You will have some sporadic spritzels of showers, maybe some wet snow in the higher elevations in upstate New York. There is our next low pressure system that we're going to focus really entirely on as we get into Christmas Eve the GFS bringing it much further to the north, that means it's going to bring all of this tropical moisture northward, wrap around snowfall here on the backside of this into the northern plains. That looks like a sure bet. And look at this as we head towards the Christmas Day into the day after Christmas Day, the 26th, high pressure retreating off to the east here. There just doesn't look like a, enough cold air here in the east to actually make anything happen here but look at this the 27th look at that rain moving up through the ohio valley the great lakes here and will that secondary low pressure system form here well let's take a look it does there it is low pressure we'll have to watch the back side of it here on the 29th this could get a little interesting 
you know, depending on where you are here, where this sets up, 986 millibar low, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Better than what we've seen here, but, you know, the right factors and the right path has to come together here with this track, and then the low kind of gets cut off here with snow continuing on the backside. So this could actually be kind of maybe something we've been waiting for for a little bit, so we'll have to keep an eye on it here. It's just one model run on the GFS. It is pretty far out too, I must say, but as we get through, let me just back this up to New Year's. There's New Year's Eve. Look at how clear it is with the exception for, you know, some lake and lake effect downwind to the lakes here from New York down to Miami, Tampa, look over to Texas. Th this looks, yeah, if you have any, with the exception for California here, if you have any New Year's Eve plans, this looks pretty ideal. Uh, we don't get that low pressure system moving across the Gulf here until the second and the third. So that looks like some really nice weather. If this can hold true, I think this pattern might actually hold up for you. New year's goers here. All right. So let's get into our upper air pattern. We'll start off with the European model and I'll transition towards the CFS medium range climate model. Yeah. Raging inferno high pressure ridge here into the east look at that that just builds towards christmas eve christmas day look what's happening though behind it southern plains there's that big plains low and that propagates towards the east towards thursday the 28th and the 29th so we'll have to watch it here things might get a little interesting especially if this low hangs out forms a secondary low and maybe is able to either manufacture its own cold air or bring down some cold air potentially so here's the cfs medium range model let's go beyond the european model here this is towards let's go back to new year's day here yeah your new year's festivities that trough is lifting out to the northeast here so the east coast might be looking pretty good for new year's here as we go in time here the cfs is hinting it may be a big trough setting up across the east here this is sunday january 7th Something we'll have to keep an eye on here because look what it's doing here. It's starting to get that blocking up here in Greenland and this thing is just hanging out. This is by January 10th and let's continue to go in time. Yeah, this is signifying that we may potentially be having a pattern change here. So it's something we'll have to keep an eye on here because this could mean a much different January than December. So if we take a look at the HRRR future radar, this is what's going on. California is seeing all the action as we head into the overnight hours into Wednesday morning here. We got some snow here across uh, south central Canada here in the plains. And here across the east, it doesn't look like a whole lot's happening now. Right around, this is right around the 21st here. You start to see on Thursday, early Thursday morning, late Wednesday night, there's going to be a little band here of snowfall that moves through off of Lake Ontario and then shifts downward towards Erie and Dunkirk. But that's just in the Northeast flow here. That won't really bring too much in the way of moisture. Our next system forming across the Southern Plains as we get through the 21st here towards 1 p.m. You can see it start to solidify snow, but here's the main energy back through California. Once it catches up to this secondary energy out ahead of it in Texas, that's when the two will come together here across the Southern Plains. So if we take a look at total liquid equivalent precipitation here, yeah, this takes us through Thursday, Friday. It's mainly California up to Washington State. Coastal areas of California getting upwards of two to three inches. But look at that. That surge of moisture up into here, parts of... You do get a little bit of light precipitation moving up here Friday into early Saturday into parts from northern Ohio, western New York, all the way down through the Mississippi River Valley and the Plains. And then you get another surge of moisture here heading on to Tuesday and Wednesday next week, right after Christmas. Yeah, I know many of you along the East Coast here are getting sick and tired of this rain, but unfortunately, it looks like we're going to add insult to injury here as we head through holiday week next week. So what's this mean for snowfall for us here? Well, it's mainly the Rockies and Northern Plains here. Four Corners region as we get through this weekend into next week. Looks still a little bit disorganized. Look at up here. You have to go way up into Canada in the east to get some. Although Northern Maine may get clipped by this system initially as we get into Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Look at that. Yeah. 
But these are the same areas that just keep seeing the heavy snow over and over again. And it looks like, look where the snow is pretty much void here in the east. All right, so many of you wanted me to show you the GFS. Well, I know a lot, some of you follow the GFS for snowfall amounts. Can't say I've had the best luck with that because it ends up, look at this. This is Friday, this Thursday, December 28th, Friday, Saturday. I mean, there's a hint that something is trying to propagate. Let's get that out of the way into the east here. But, you know, these this just keeps doing this. And then 10, 15 days later, there's nothing there. And look at this, even down here into parts of the south. Let's see when that, that occurs. So if we back this up, you know, this is like way more than 300 hours out. You can't even put much stock into this at this point. So as we take a look at the tropics here, you know, things don't look too bad. We got a stalled out front here across the island of Hispaniola that just east of Jamaica here. And then we got some low pressure systems out here in the Atlantic. But, you know, as we go in time here, that that kind of sinks towards the south here. Uh, towards Costa Rica and we do get some showers here across Central America and Jamaica as we head through Friday into Saturday here but if you look there's a wave moving through the Lesser Antilles there's not anything that great and interesting to talk about here which is great news because this is supposed to be your quiet season although we do get a tropical wave it looks like forming here into the eastern Caribbean there's that area of low pressure here uh, just east of Bermuda this thing's going to just dance around all over here so we'll have to keep an eye on that, see if that threatens anybody. I think it's just going to be mainly shipping at this point. These, these frontal boundaries make it pretty far south here into Central America and the Caribbean as they move east. This is actually towards the 27th with that big cyclone up here into the east coast, eastern North America. But look at that. Yeah, there's that frontal boundary. May spark off some thunderstorms here from the Cayman Islands down to Belize and Honduras. So something we'll have to keep an eye on through the 29th here. Oh, so if we take a look at the GFS here in the tropics, you can see we got a little bit of a wave moving through the Western Caribbean there. That moves a little bit here into Honduras and Nicaragua. But at this point, we're not going to really see any sort of major issues here. There's the Eastern Gulf opening up around Christmas Day. We got this low pressure kind of meandering out here in the Atlantic that kind of gets caught up gets cut off from the rest of these lows. But, you know, at this point, things don't look rather interesting. And that's a good thing here across the Caribbean. As we head through the holidays here, even as we approach, we do have this little flare up here north of the Yucatan, west of the Florida Keys. Um, but this is pretty far out. This is the tail end of a front. And, of course, the front makes a run here across the Caribbean. But this is a classic strong El Nino pattern. These low pressures develop and head right up across the the gulf of mexico here so this is going to keep things much wetter than average here in the parts of florida and the east coast here look at that Those, these lows just explode right out of the gulf there but look at the caribbean for the most part staying nice and dry so if we take a look at your liquid equivalent here across your rainfall across the caribbean here there's that frontal boundary Mixing with that uh, tropical wave here across the southwestern part of the Caribbean here. Maybe bringing especially eastern part of Jamaica here upwards of 90 to 100 millimeters, 3 to 4 inches. But most of Jamaica will see less than about 25 millimeters here. But look at this as we continue in time. Look at the Gulf up there. Parts of Belize as we get down towards Honduras as well. But for the most part, it's Hispaniola that's winning the rainfall here. Upwards of 70 to 110 millimeters. That's going to get us upward close to three to four, maybe four and a half inches. And the northern side of Puerto Rico here as well. And as we head towards from the Bahamas down to Puerto Rico, the Lesser Antilles. Bahamas are looking, going through a drier period here, thankfully. It's uh, Hispaniola through Puerto Rico. That frontal boundary is hung up. And as we head through the next couple days here, the southern Lesser Antilles, especially Friday into Saturday, we're getting be about 40 maybe 60 millimeters of rainfall it's going to get us up to about an inch and a half two inches potentially so what's going on out here in the western pacific well let's take a look there hasn't been a whole lot going on we did have that cyclone jasper down towards australia a couple weeks ago but at this point look at this yeah we have some showers moving through the philippines here very dry here from vietnam northward this is your non-typhoon season here up here in Japan, there is not a whole lot happening here through Christmas Day. Look at Japan up here. Looks really nice. 
cooler through China here. Doesn't look too bad. You know, you get some showers moving through the Philippines here towards the 29th and 30th, but that is about it. And don't go anywhere. I just have more weather here in just a moment. Check out the, my affiliate here, these awesome maps. Have a look at this. I am proud to announce that I am now an affiliate with Trilogy Maps. TrilogyMaps.com bringing you the most digital, customizable maps found nowhere else on the internet. These maps are simply stunning. It's an advanced layering system that makes these maps great for making forecast maps with ease or any other maps that you would like to display important information on. The resolution on these maps is simply amazing. From the detail of everything here in the States, and you can also create stunning, digital, professional layered maps from also across the entire world. And don't forget in checkout, the discount code option, use my code, MediaMark, hit apply, and you will get 20% off your order. So if you want the most professional, customizable, and affordable weather maps found nowhere else on the internet, look no further than TrilogyMaps.com. Link in the description down below along with your discount code. So for your temperature outlook here, it looks really uneventful. Although if you like warm weather, yeah, it's going to be warm blasting furnace all the way up through the Ohio Valley here. Well, 40s, yeah, for this time of year actually is. Um, we just have some cold air around the edges here, northern Midwest here into northern New England 30s. But that's about it. That's retreating to northern New England. Look at the massive surge here into Thursday. 60s all across the central and southern plains here. Even some 50s here into the Carolinas. Look at the Ohio Valley staying in the 40s. We are staying really, really warm. Much warmer than average so far. But look at here. That warmth just starts to surge and expand eastward here as we get Friday, December 22nd. And watch this for Saturday. Even Florida's warming well up into the mid to upper 70s here. Texas as well. And that surge of moisture uh, is going to bring those temperatures north way up. Look at that. Towards 50 in Cleveland by Saturday. Look at this big pool of cold air behind. You can see where the low pressure system is going to ride. Can anybody sense a, a little bit of deja vu here? Yes, this is this is typically the Colorado lows that we saw last winter. Not to say this is going to keep breaking this record over and over again, but we'll see. Look at this surge of 50s all the way up into the Ohio Valley into parts of the Northeast, Southern Great Lakes for your Sunday, Christmas Eve. It's not looking very much like Christmas here. And look at that. That just continues to surge to the east for Christmas Day. Extended outlook from hometown viewers, Binghamton to Scranton, Upper Susquehanna River Valley of New York and Pennsylvania. Take a look at this. So yeah, we got a real cold night into Wednesday morning, possibly down to the upper teens here in parts of the valley. Look at this. Sunny skies, though, bringing some lower 40s for Wednesday into Thursday. A little bit cooler on Thursday with that backdoor cold front into Friday as well, but still a lot of sun. Saturday, the clouds roll in from the west. We get that uh, potential. No moisture, though. So we head towards Christmas Eve, Sunday, looking nice, mid to upper 40s. As always, I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Media Mark's Weather. Join me on Facebook at Media Mark, also at Weather Northeastern, also at Hurricane Northeastern, and also at Susquehanna Weather. Also, Twitter at Weather Eastern, and you can visit me at MediaMark.com. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check out my winter weather outlook for 2023-24. A link in the description down below as well as my affiliate, Trilogy Maps.